Okay. Um, so, I kind of wasn't sure if I was going to make this video or not, <laughs> but um, I feel like, yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to go in for it. Um, I usually try to uh, tell you guys to like learn from my mistakes, right? So I, I make a lot of mistakes, you know, one, one purposefully uh, and two sort of, you know, obviously, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh yeah, if I, if I really tried, I never, I would never make mistakes. I mean, some, you know, not purposefully and some, like I know there are mistakes and I still go into them anyway. Um, and this is kind of one of those cases where, uh, yeah, so this is the CYL banner. Um, the, the spark system is in play here, which is, it's, I mean, it's always good, right? It's always good to have the spark system and, you know, we get one free, so it's not that big a deal. Um, so I think I really should, in this case, I really, really need to be saving for, uh, something on the horizon. So like I said, or like Acarus says, uh, the next mythic banner or something that's coming after this. Um, and if, if you want to get like a plus 10 merge, this isn't even the place to do it, but I don't want a plus 10 merge on any of these units personally. Um, but they do have good fodder that I really want to have now going forward. I don't want this to be another, um, what's the word? How do, I, uh, how do you say it? Like, I don't want this to be another uh, situation with uh, Broadleaf Fan where it came out and, uh, you know, I was, you know, being too stupid at the moment to be like, oh yeah, this is obviously something insanely broken. Let me just summon for it. Um, right. So, uh, I don't think anybody here has anything on the level of Broadleaf Fan. But if you saw my video talking about some of this stuff, I mean, this looks pretty interesting and I'd like to, to have that to mess around with as well as like Fury 4 to a unit. Um, again, I mean, maybe I could just put this on uh, this and this on, um, what's her name? On Camilla. And, uh, and there you go. Now I have my Fury 4 Camilla with the attack speed rain. Uh, and she's, you know, going to be uh, devastating. But... Um, but yeah, so I mean, basically, I mean, this this is kind of a bonus, but basically, it's this this that I'm after here. Um, but also, like, well, I'm not here. Uh, she doesn't really have very much, so hopefully, I don't uh, pull too many. I'd like one because I just like Edelgard. Uh, I don't, as you can see, my um, my thing here is the Black Eagles thing. I haven't actually played three houses, but just I guess you know, going into it, I'm probably gonna do whatever Edelgard's path is or whatever. I'm not sure how that game works entirely, so uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I don't. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so hopefully I don't, I can get like at least an Edelgard while summoning to hit before hitting Spark, um, and not have to like get one. I mean, it'd be nice, like I said, it'd be nice to have one. I'd really like Edelgard. Um, but she's not really a priority in this situation. Uh, Dimitri is all right, but defense, attack defense unity is basically what you want on him, one off of him. Uh, that coupled with this, right? So you can take this, and presumably this is attack, defense, bond, one, two, and three, and you need those three to inherit this. So it's this one skill plus uh, the skills for this, and and you got a pretty good fodder unit. Like he's he's golden. I don't really necessarily want him. I don't have a whole lot of units I can use defense unity on. Um, yeah, it's not a whole lot of people I can use this on uh, that that even use attack, defense, bond. Period. Now. But it's good fodder, right? It, it's a good skill. It looks it looks excellent, I think. Um, and then obviously joint drive attack. Do you, yeah, so. Is this... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is a hone attack. I thought this was the joint drive attack. Never mind. Uh, it's slightly less valuable now that I uh, know which one it is. But it's, I mean, it's decent anyway, right? It's like, it's at least it helps you score better in arena is, is what it comes down to. Um, but yeah, so, and I'm kind of putting this off because this is the obvious one. Um, she has good fodder. Uh, I want to eventually make a, a Brunya, and I want to run this on her. Um, so yeah, I kind of need this, and um, if you get I, attack speed, push, uh, 1, 2, and 3 are available in the um, paper shop, whatever. Uh, so you can just like fodder this skill plus all three of this uh, in one go, in one swoop. So that's kind of what I want uh, her for. So like I said, my top priorities are gonna be her or him and her. 
Uh, hopefully I get her is what I'm looking is what I really want. Uh, and then because uh, I don't want to spark her like in the in the course of summoning this, hopefully I just get her. Um, and then that's that's kind of why I want to like summon first because I want to see what I, I pull out of this before I decide to burn my uh, my, my my free like five star summon here. Um, and not to mention, I also let's go take a look. Let's go over to the barracks real quick. Uh, there's also a few. Um, oh, let's get rid of all these X's. There's also, I've got a new uh, a few things I need to summon for. So uh, color, colorless, obviously, I always need. I need one more Tethys, right? Uh, I always need more um, Norn merges, and I've started making a. Uh, I've started making an echidna, or an echidna, I don't know how to say that. Uh, usually it's echidna, right, because it's the animal, but I mean, it might be like a different kind of name or something. Um, I want to make a plus 10 echidna one day because I don't have a good green axe wielder, and out of all of them, she looks like really the best one. Um, her and Ross, but for one, obviously this channel, it's kind of obvious, I'm just going to go with echidna, right? Uh, but between the two, it's nice that she has more speed because I think I want to put close call on her and then just boost her speed. Um, I might I might make a video on her on her later, but yeah, I need more echidna merges, so that's good. Uh, again, red is is over there. I don't have any red merge projects, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, my Tethys is only plus nine. Um, my Norn is over here somewhere, if I can find her. Um, but yeah, just I mean, and then uh, anything else, any uh, any other things I find in the course of just pulling uh, are great too. And I have to go clear this, so I'll pause the video um, in a little bit and then go do that. But I can't find my... Oh, is she at the top? No, she's not She's not up here, is she? Yeah, she's right here. Uh, so Norn is still plus 6, unfortunately. Uh, once she's plus 10, she'll basically surpass uh, Boki, um, which is good. Uh, that's kind of what you want, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously that's kind of what you want, but... Uh, Right now, she's she's slightly less, and especially, I mean, it's kind of hard to pass up Boki just because she has the uh, the flying advantage. And there's there's a few maps that are like, it's not a lot, right? But there's a few maps where I mean, you just basically win because you can fly because uh, they they built their 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 team around this idea that uh, there's certain tiles they can't move through or or whatnot. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of uh, the thought process behind. Uh, behind all this um, so like I said uh, I do think this is a poor decision um, but I'm, I'm going into it anyway uh, just you know for those of you watching uh, be very wary um, don't be so hasty to, to just go in here uh, but yeah I'll pause the video go clean my barracks out and be right back uh, okay so yeah, for you guys it was like instantaneous but uh, gosh damn uh, for me I paused that recording and it took forever to come back. Um, basically, the main thing that was kind of annoying was uh, I didn't actually get all of them from the Forging Bonds. So, I, like, look at how far along these are, and I barely got hers. Like, it would just not drop any of any of her little uh, hearts for me. So, uh, that took me a while to grind out. Uh, so here I am. Um, yeah, and, and these uh, these tickets do make this this pity easier to reach, which is always great. Um, but like I said, I'm probably not gonna be taking advantage of like the multiple like, you know, the multiple summon pity there. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Uh, da -da -da. I guess that's it. I'm gonna actually go check over here in case we got should be getting any more of these in the mail. Uh, also, obviously, I want to make a plus ten Brynja at some point. Um, let's go take a look over here. So let's see. I just like to check because one of them I messed up. And like we had some extra tickets in here, it just gave us some free ones. Um, and then I, I I went all the way to pity before I used the tickets, so then I just used the tickets afterwards for no reason. Um, so I wasted orbs there. As you can see here, I don't do a lot of these challenges. Probably should be more diligent with that. Um, okay, so that's fine. Let's go back. Let me go get this real quick. It's really bothering me. I think she's actually done now. I think that's like her last one. Uh, so let's go back again. Yeah. Not get sidetracked. Yeah, so let's just get in here. Uh, I cleared enough space to get all 40, so uh, yeah. It's cool this spark system too, because it's like it really puts a lot of like fun back into summoning to some degree, right? Because it's like uh, I can spend orbs um, to get these units, and I know I'm gonna get one at the end. Uh, it's a matter of it becomes a matter of like, oh, let's see 
uh, how many if any we how many if any like other just random five stars we might end up getting so like you don't get too upset when like you get pity broken or something like that by something that you know you weren't here for in the beginning with. um at least i do anyway um i i really like this whole system uh more forests i don't actually use healers in a lot of in a lot of stuff in this game uh the one healer i i use is is always um just Veronica, I have her, she's not even plus 10, like, she's a plus 1. Um, but she's always, like, she's always been insanely good. Like, it's a testament to her how well, how good she is. That she came out, like, a year ago, I think, right? It was, like, the last CYL 2? Maybe, I have no idea. Um, but she came out a while ago. Uh, let's see. Is this? Okay. That's fine. Um, so she came out a while ago, and she's still like very, you know, sort of oppressively strong. I mean, you, you find a lot of her on um, on arena defenses all the time, or not arena on uh, AR defenses all the time. Um, supposedly, she's getting a new refine that looks like it could be uh, pretty devastating. I think. Let's see if I nope nothing. It could be pretty devastating. Um, so in terms of healers, like like I said, I, I've you know, I've rarely ever wanted or even needed a healer other than just Veronica. Um, but uh, I do. Uh, if I if I am going to make another uh, healer, it's probably just going to be Mercedes. Um, no, is it Mercedes? Yeah, I think it's Mercedes because she just looks really tanky. Or it could be it might be maybe I'm getting confused with Silk. I don't know. But uh, yeah. So that's that's something that I, I would like to do, but of course I have way too many projects right now. I have to finish up my, uh, for one, I need to finish up my uh, Minerva, my um, mini Minerva. Uh, two, obviously I want Brunia. Uh, three, uh, Norn. Four, I need one Tethys, which hopefully I can get from this. Um, what else? Now I'm, I'm working on uh, Echidna. Uh, so just there's just a lot of projects going on right now, and I don't really have the feathers to uh, really make every single one of them come true immediately. Anyway, um, I don't do a very good job of hero merit farming, uh, which is going to get you a lot of uh, which gets you a lot of feathers. Um, yeah, so I mean, uh, there's still a lot of like potential feathers. Um, that I, that I have so you know I can kind of like rush certain things but I really is like not a whole lot of point to, to doing that like for one it's like I can't rush Echidna because I don't have any other copies of Echidna I can't rush Tethys because I don't have copies of Tethys I can't rush um, you know Brunia or uh, or what's her name hey, look another Camilla I can't rush Brunia or Mini Minerva because they take grails so that like the bottleneck there is more grails than it is feathers um, so in terms of like grinding hardcore to get a bunch of feathers, like I really don't like doing that because then you have then you have like a huge store of feathers and then you get tempted to use them. Uh, so that's kind of that. Uh, of course, you know it's always better to have them than to to not have them. Uh, all blue blues and grays. Uh, funnily enough, there's not actually anything in the blue pool that I need other than like. I mean, I guess everybody could use more merges on their. Um, what's her name? Uh, they're Fjorms. Mine's only plus three. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's not not a whole lot in blue I need. Just colorless and uh, and green mainly. Uh, red, of course, I like to summon a red just because you get the chance of, of pulling the Lysithia. Um, but yeah. Always nice to see Kagero. Uh, uh, that's another project I want to do. I want, I want a plus ten Kagero. Um, but like I said, I don't have like that one is actually feathers is bothering is stopping me there. I have all ten, um, I have all ten of them, but uh, they're not like the thing is, I'd be sort of it. That'd be a little more that that would be a little more overindulgent than than uh, than normal, uh, because I would just be doing it because that's what I want to do rather than like it'd be worth anything, um, because she's not gonna serve any purpose that like. For one, I've already got a plus 10 uh, uh, Cronia. Oh no, she's plus 8, but I mean, I could just plus 10 or whatever. 
Uh, I just have other, like I said, I have other things. But um, I have a plus 10 Tethys, or, or well, plus 9 Tethys, plus 8 Cronia, and a plus 10 Felicia, right? So it's like, there's, there's already a lot going on there. Um, and I'm actually not getting anything, which is kind of sad. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, you also, in terms of like, as well as just picking like good strategies and stuff like that, you also want to kind of take into consideration what, um, what kind of like roles these are playing. And unfortunately with the problem with Kagero is she's not going to fulfill any role that isn't already covered by the three dagger units. Actually the four dagger units I have because I said I have a plus eight Cronia, which eventually will be plus 10, plus nine Tethys, which will eventually be plus 10. Um, plus, let's go over here. Uh, plus ten Felicia, which is you know it's like she's my main use, she's my main uh, Astra unit. Um, and then I also have a plus five uh, fall, uh, Winter Cecilia, which I do uh, use in basically everything that's not Aether raids. And eventually I might want to build her. And I think I showed off that video uh, where like you can kind of get a pretty interesting, like decent speed. Uh, a pretty decent speed. Uh, what's her name? Cecilia. Uh, I do think that build is kind of a meme, though. Like, it's not that good. Um, just running her on quick on quicker post, sacred seal, and and uh, bold fighter is probably just gonna be better in the long run for a more aggressive one. Um, but I recently let's see if I get anything. Nope, nothing. It's weird that uh, it took a while for him to come out like that. Uh, but was he a green? Oh, he looks. Like, he has a sword. What? What the fuck? That's weird. Um, so obviously we're not getting anything. This kind of is kind of sad. Um, but uh, yeah, like I, I'm starting to think uh, if you want to like use her on Aether raids as like a, a a really good tank and just have her sit there and, and fight everybody, uh, she's not gonna be like it's not like uh, Cronia, right? Cronia doesn't fight anybody. She's uh, she's basically what what she wants to do. Uh, is what an assassin wants to do is kind of just kill everybody before they have a chance to do anything to you which is you know why Cronia is so powerful she's like a she's like you know probably one of the better CC vantage um, sweepers out there um, but in terms of like straight up brawling with people and just winning a lot of engagements over and over again uh, Fallen Cecilia is a pretty good candidate for that um, she's she's yeah uh, what I would what I am thinking uh, for her eventually, and I'll probably have a showcase on this when I talk about my echidna um, That video, I don't know when that video will be up, but uh, Probably be talking about echidna and why maybe you might want to invest in her and why I'm investing in her and what going forward from there uh, but I'll probably talk a little bit about like since you can change IVs on on these grail units now um, oh, I wish I could make a, a Tharja, but uh, She takes way too much investment to get kind of relatively not as far as other units but anyway um yeah like in terms of just straight up fighting with people uh i think maybe like a special fighter quick repost um like barb shuriken aether special uh what's her name uh, uh winner cc might be like an interesting way to go. Do I think it's like the way to go? Not necessarily, but I do think it's like something worth uh, worth giving a shot, uh, personally, anyway. So this summoning session is kind of a kind of a bust, I think. Um, let's see if uh, Claude is in any of these here. So of course, like like always, like there's a good, there's a chance that you can like kind of get uh, interesting stuff here but a lot of times like stuff like this happens right it's like oh well you know you don't you don't pull very much um, but yeah it's not too bad there's Jacob uh, it's kind of sad because I actually haven't I didn't even get a nor I've not got anything that like like not any five stars aside, and look, there's uh, there's Ross, the uh, sort of echidna alternative. Um, do you have any good skills on him? Because echidna doesn't have any good skills either. Yeah. 
Yeah, but basically I went with the Kidna over him because she's faster and like he's like slightly tankier. I don't remember how, where he's slightly tankier, but he's like slightly tankier in one aspect and just a Kidna's like her speed is it's a lot better. So, uh, so this is kind of sad. Um, let's go take a look at our appearance rates. Uh, you get five star after five, five more summons. You get one of these. Um, so yeah, let's hopefully we get at least a five star. Maybe if not one of them, at least uh, one of them. Wow. That is insane. So this is basically the best scenario. I mean, granted, I can't. There's no possible way to get, to get an echidna out of this, but um, uh, Tethys and, and Norn are what I need more, as well as like Claude has the uh, the one skill I'm after. So hopefully, if I'm gonna get a Claude, not off the pity breaker, or not off the like the pity um, the forty summons the spark system. There we go. That's what it's called. Not off the spark system. Then it's gonna be here. And if it's not here, then there you go. It's not here. It just was never meant to be. Oh, what's that double loading screen? Ah, got baited. I was like, oh, maybe they're loading in my five star. This is that's this is pretty sad because not only that, but like this also resets your. Um, I think the I think if you you get the the five star from the spark, it resets the uh, percentage, which is kind of weird. Yay, my last Tethys. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I did spend a hundred and like something orbs <laughs> for one last Tethys, but uh, that's fine. Um, you're honestly, obviously, you're spending all these orbs not necessarily for what you get out of them, but uh, there's the other Tethys, so um, not necessarily what you get out of them, more like just get the pity. Okay. Oh, do they both say that now? No, <laughs> that's very funny. Um. Okay, so I mean, as is kind of the moment of the truth, right? Um, I guess ideally you want to take uh, Claude and then uh, a Lysithia. Because, uh, like I said, I don't really want Dimitri. I don't really care. Um, but I really did kind of want uh, an Edelgard. Um, just because, you know, for one, like I said, I, I really like Edelgard. Um, but for two, I mean, she just looks kind of fun to use. Um, but uh, yeah, so I mean, ultimately it's just gonna be like, I'll have to take one, one, one and one. Actually, well, okay, so we have, oh, it goes up to 100. Yeah, so it just, I think it just overwrites your other thing. So here's this, we'll take this here. Um, choose your hero. We'll take uh, Claude. Look, there it is. Look at this little earring, dude. Like, oh my gosh, dude, have you seen a bigger douchebag in your whole life? Like, I don't know anything about this guy. Forged piece, blah, blah, who cares? Um, yeah, I don't know anything about this guy, but he just, like, he just, like, screams out. He's a massive douchebag. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Uh, basically, it's kind of sad, though, like, the idea that, like, I'm pulling on all the, I'm pulling on these just to get, like, a huge amount of fodder, but, uh, yeah, you know, like Claude is just fodder to me. Uh, Lysithia, same way. So let's take a look at our, imper our appearance rates. So my rates, oh, so they they stay whatever they were. So that 10%, um, it's a question you want to sort of sit down and ask yourself, do I want to go to another pity? Um, I, I probably don't. Um, it went pretty poorly the first 40. I don't foresee the second 40 happening. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna skip over that. Uh, let's get this. Uh, and here you can actually just get another Claude if you want to, but uh, this time, uh, I'm not gonna fodder him right away. For one, I gotta get the feathers, the, the the flowers out of him. But for two, I'm not gonna fodder him right away because while it looks like I'd want it on, um, I'd want that uh, rain skill on, um. Bokey, I'm still I still want to think about it because like right I'm only I only have one to give away, uh, so it's a pretty big decision. Um, for those of you out there who either took my advice or like I said like, like I always say just if you have common sense and you went with um, Ashnard, uh, it's important to realize that like this skill is going to be really good on Ashnard um, because. 
Like, is it better than maybe a ward or a goad? Probably, because it pulls double duty, like I said last time. The fact that you reduce their attack by four basically means you're boosting your allies' attack, uh, defense and res, both stats, by four. But then on top of that, the extra four speed comes in, so it's like a ward and a half, right? Um, very defensive, very, you know, keeping your units from getting doubled and keeping, uh, just reducing the damage they're taking. Um, but also, like, it, it synergizes well with his passive uh, sword ability. So you're basically reducing everybody's attack stat by nine uh, on non-visible stats like that. That's that's ridiculous. That's he's gonna be one tanky bastard. Like that's basically a plus nine to all your skills. And if you've seen like if you see a decently well built uh, Ashnard, he he's like fifty and fifty on res and defense. So basically, he's he's more or less not dying is the moral of that story. Um, but yeah, so like I said, if I had Ashnard, it, it to me at least it just seems pretty. Uh, cut and dry that like oh you kind of want to run this on Ashnard but um, for one I don't and for two I'm still like you know as always I'm still kind of figuring out what uh, what would be good to put that on and, and while Boki seems like a pretty solid just just go ahead and put it on Boki um, I do want to give it some more thought uh, in terms of Lysithia uh, I'm, unfortunately while I did want her while I do want her she's just gonna sit uh, in the barracks for a while um, with the fodder on her because uh, I don't like to fodder off the like there's no need to be hasty right like there could be something that comes out later that you know could make better use of the fodder she has on her than uh, what you're planning on and for me I'm gonna put that stuff I want to put that stuff on Brunia um, but yeah so like I said I mean might be better on someone else, so just hang on to it. And uh, I'm just gonna hang on to it until uh, my Brunia starts getting merges and I start like solidifying her build, because the build's not even like fully completed right now. It's kind of like I mean, for one, I, I do know I want uh, low uh, speed res, but the, do I want the attack the, the attack speed push? Do I you know what, what do I want to build on her? So that build is kind of still in a little bit of flux. I just know that I want the middle skill, and even if I even if I end up not using that middle skill on her uh giving somebody that low attack speed uh low speed res and the attack speed push for is gonna someone's really gonna appreciate that regardless right so it's good to have her because she's got this these you know skills that many many units could love to have uh but i'll leave her there in the in the barracks just in case um i change my mind or you know whatever happens happens with the other ones um so yeah i'm just gonna yeah i'll take her enough of that talking Um, so yeah, uh, this summoning video went about as expected, I think, for, for this channel. Um, I don't get very good luck when it comes to summoning stuff. Um, thanks for playing the app. Would you like to leave a review? I've already left a review. Uh, but, yeah, it's kind of weird that it's asking me for this. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, good luck on, on your summons. Hopefully they don't turn out like mine. Um... I saw Phoenix Master 1's video, he, he turned out pretty well, uh, but uh, yeah, so couldn't uh, couldn't pull through here. Um, yep, but no big deal. Uh, we'll just, I'll be, for anybody who, wants, for anybody who, who cares, uh, I'll be some, I'll be wait, uh, I will be saving orbs for anything to come. Uh, I'm not going to do like the thing I did with the Yuffie video where, uh, you know, like a bunch of parts for no real reason. Um, I think I'm just gonna cut it off there. Save up orbs. Um, the the ultimately for the future the it comes down to these two decisions. Do I want to go all in for uh, a plus four um, a plus four dual bilith dual or, or summer bilith or whatever whichever one you want to call it. Um, which even then like for a plus four like statistically you're probably looking at somewhere like. I don't know, I want to say four, five hundred orbs uh, just for a plus four. Um, but, you know, we'll see how long it takes for me to save, how long, you know, what happens in between now and then. Uh, oh, I, I keep forgetting to show that. I should probably show that every time. But, of course, all my orbs are free to play except for what you get from the, um, the what's it called? <sighs> what's that thing? The, um, the, fi the Fey Pass? I don't have it now, currently. Um... Which is why you see these challenges here are not completed. I haven't collected this because I don't have the fate pass right now. Um, 
I don't really buy the Fate Pass just like on auto repeat every single time I buy it when there's like a unit in the Resplendent alt that has an interesting Resplendent alt that I care about. Um, yeah, like like we got Hector, and but him was more like, well, you know, you get a free disc counter, so why not? Uh, but uh, yeah, so I mean, you know, let me go show. I mean, it's kind of late now. I need to remember to do this before. Uh, let's go see uh, Frequent Last Questions, Customer Supports. No, it's... Ah, oh, shit. Frequently asked questions. No. Frequently asked questions. Um, no, is it? Oh, it is in customer support, I think, right? Yeah, orb balance. Uh, all these orbs are free to play, and unfortunately I couldn't... Uh, I don't know which ones uh, you lose first. Do you lose the paid orbs first? Because in, in, um, in Epic 7, you lose the free crystal first. So if I go to my Epic 7... Um, I have three thousand. I have five thousand crystal now, but three thousand of that crystal. Actually, I don't know. I'll uh, I'll check up on that and I'll show you guys later. But I had a while ago. I had three thousand crystal, and it would never go away because I never dropped down below three thousand crystal. Um, it might be different now, considering I went all in on the Euphine banner. But um, yeah, like in here, I don't know which one gets burned first. But yeah, I don't have any. I don't have any. I think it's probably the. Yeah, it's. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so all my orbs are free to play. Uh, just remember that, um, like this this batch was free to play. But remember that, like, the Fey Pass not only gives you like five orbs. People look look at that, you know, that's not that big a difference, and and it, and it sort of isn't right. It's five orbs over two weeks. That's ten orbs a month, right? Um, but it also has like you know having the the multiple um, what's that thing? The multiple uh, summoner support and and auto repeat and all these things. That have sort of a knock-on effect that that can result in more orbs than just those flat ten. Like mathematically, it's just a flat ten, but there can be ultimately more orbs in the long run, um, thanks to uh, what advantages the Fey Pass gives you. So if anybody tells you they're they're 100% free to play and they're, you know, whatever, but they have the Fey Pass, don't uh, like take it with like appropriate amounts of um, like consideration, right? Know that like, well, they they're not. They're not a whale, and they're not gonna like, you know, a, a person with a fate pass is not just gonna stomp all over people without fate passes. I mean, um, Acris and and Phoenix Master One are still, you know, pretty decent considering the fact that uh, they don't buy the fate pass. Um, but like, you know, getting the fate pass is gonna help you stomp over somebody. But it's important to realize that you are like, there is a very, for one, a very tangible advantage that you can see here, and then there's also intangible advantages that like are not so easily calculated. Um, so you know, keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's it for today. Uh, this video, today I have a, so today's Wednesday. Today I have a Guild War video coming out, so this will probably come out on Thursday. Um, you know, good luck on all your summoning. Don't, uh, don't, don't get jobbed like I do all the time. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's that.